Now I will discuss one of the most important things in Laravel and that is routes. What is route? Actually routes define the entry points or endpoints of your application which map incoming requests to the appropriate controller or closer for handling the request. Routes actually work with the incoming HTTP request on your application. There are many HTTP request uh, method for example get, post, put, delete etc in Laravel. So in Laravel routes are actually defined in two places. I am going to show you that for example I am going to the VS Code editor and this is a newly installed Laravel application and here if I go to the routes folder you will see that one is web.php and another one is api.php. So web.php this file this web.php file actually contains the routes that are associated with the web interface or browser based interaction but the api.php this actually contains the routes that are typically used for building the apis as i am not going to create api now i will only work with the web based routes so this is the web.php when i have installed the laravel for the first time you see that this is a page and this is actually the welcome page right where is this welcome defined that is defined here you see that this is the default code and here the get request is used that means when a person hits in his browser by this or by his domain name then the request is coming using the get request and this is the first parameter and this is slash slash means the home page right and a callback function is used in the route as the second parameter and here i tell that to return the view that is welcome view the view is actually here the model view controllers view that is located in the laravel into the resources folder if i go here you will see that here is views and all the views file will be here so here welcome view is here and the extension for this file it will be dot blade dot php so remember it because the view interact with the blade syntax so in laravel when you will name any file then you will have to give the file extension dot blade dot php and the file name is welcome that i call here if i go into the welcome dot blade dot php you will see all the codes that is written here and this html structure that is coming in my output here now what i can do if i just create here another view for example that is home so i will have to create home dot blade dot php and after creating the home dot blade dot php here i can write any code for example this is home page and here i can write home page content home page content will be here if i use like this what will be happened in my browser now i will call this home that means here i will have to change this so when i define this route i tell that in the home route this view will be called that means if i refresh this page now you'll see that the content has been changed and the content is the home page content now and this is the very basic route for the laravel here in the laravel there are some other routes for example those are post route there can be some parameters here then there are another routes that is put then there is delete like this etc so the all these are actually the basic routes i will show you about the post route delete route etc route uh, afterwards when i will jump into the advanced to topic but for now as a beginner if you just understand this it is okay I am now going to create another route that is about route. For example, I am going to copy and paste the code and here I write about and the view I am going to call that is about view. So if I call this view, that means I will have to create that view here that is about.blade.php and here like the home page I write some content for example about page and here I call about page 
content okay so like this now if i write like this here i will i also define the route by this name when you will define anything in the route remember that you will have to work here like that like this so i define that slash about is the route name and if someone hit in this route then the about page will come that is already done here you see instead of slash i can remove the slash from the beginning it will work like the same so if i refresh you will see that the same output is here but if i give here any other things that is actually not defined for example uh, sorry contact contact page but you see that there is no page defined that means 404 error comes so remember that in laravel if you want to access any page any code then you must have to define a route for that so without defining any route you cannot push anything in the url now it is working this can be another thing for example instead of about i can give here about rfin so then you will have to write this in the url though your page name is about view name is about but this route i changed here so you will have to call by this name so if i go here and run about for now then it will show 404 error if i just paste it here about rfin then you see that it is working so in this way you can define it as many routes as you want in laravel in this way i'm showing you another thing instead of returning a view you can easily return any straight html codes here or any text for example this is about i did not call the view here when a person will hit the about in the url then this one will be in the output so here i am going to call it you see that this is about also here i can use any tag here for example h2 like this it will also work here so if i refresh you see that h2 is working and the text is a big size and bold so i hope you have understood about the basic routes thank you